हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम अगेन वी आर गिवन दिस शेडेड एरिया एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द सेंट्राइड ऑफ दिस गिवन शेडेड एरिया राइट एंड दिस द प्रोफाइल ऑफ दिस शेडेड एरिया इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय दिस वाई ऑफ एक्स फंक्शन राइट सो अगेन टू फाइंड द एक्स बार एंड वाई बार कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ द सेंट्राइड वी कैन अप्लाई द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मोमेंट्स इक्वेशन right so i can write that x bar into area will be equal to the integration of x c d a so to apply this equation we have to select a differential area right so what i will do is that i will select the differential area that is in the horizontal orientation right so let's say that this is my differential area so now as we can see that Uh, this is the length of this differential area and this length will be equal to x right and this width is represented by this will be dy this is the change in y right so this is dy so now we can say that uh, da will be equal to x into dy so in this equation we have to find the overall area for this uh, given shaded area right so we have to find that area of this blue portion right so we we need to integrate this right so we need to integrate this so this will give us that area of this uh, blue portion right so area will be equal to and as we can see that this integration is with respect to y and we are given this y of x function right so first i have to write uh, x x as a function of y right so this is equal to y equals to kx square right and x square will be equal to y divided by k and similarly if you want to write x so then we have to take the square root right so this will be like this So now we have to find this k as well, right? So as we can see that uh, when y is equal to b, then x is equal to b, right? Or we can say that when x is equal to b, y is equal to b, right? So if I put uh, x and y equals to b in this equation, right? So we are given that y equals to k x square. So when y equals to b, x equal to b. so we can write that k is equal to b divided by b square so this will cancel out so this means that k is equal to 1 divided by b right and here in this equation we have 1 divided by square root k into y and let me write it as 1 divided by 2 power right so if i take reciprocal of this equation right so i can write that 1 divided by k is equal to b and if i take square root on both sides of the equation so this means that 1 by square root k is equal to square root b so we can write this x equation like this so now we have this x x as a function of y right so now i can use this equation here right so this is from we can write this square root b y to the power 1 divided by 2 dy and the y limits are from 0 to b so we have to integrate this from 0 to b so if we when we integrate this so this will be y 1 divided by 2 plus 1 so this will be 3 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 2 or we can write it as 2 divided by 3 and this is from 0 to b right So this is two divided by three square root b, or I can write square root b as b to the power one divided by two. And if I put these limits, so this will be b three to the power two. So if we multiply this, so we will add up the powers of this b, right? So this will be this will become b square, right? This is two divided by three b square. So that blue shaded area is equal to two divided by three. b square so now i can use this equation right so i can write that x bar into area and what is xc so xc is the 
distance of the centroid of this differential area from the y axis is right so the centroid of this differential area will be located somewhere here right so this distance is xc and as we can see that the length of this differential area is x so xc is located at the geometric center of this differential area so this means that xc will be located at half of the length right so we can say that xc will be equal to x divided by 2 so i can write here as xc as x divided by 2 and da is x dy right this is that da so this will become x square divided by 2 right so this is x square divided by 2 so this is the equation for x so if we take square so this will be x square this will become b and this will become y so x square is equal to b y so i can write this is x bar a and this is b y d y and i can take this one by two outside of the integration right and since the integration is, is with respect to y so we have to integrate this from 0 to b so x bar into area 1 divided by 2 and if we integrate this so this will be b y square divided by 2 from 0 to b so if we put these limits so this will be b divided by 4 and this will be b square so this will become b cube right and x bar and area is now known which is 2 divided by 3 b square right so this b square will cancel out and if we cross multiply so this will be 3 divided by 8 into b so this is the x bar coordinate of the centroid of this blue uh, shaded area right similarly we can find that uh, y bar so if I use this equation that is y bar into area and here we have that y c d a. So now what is y c? So y c is the distance of the centroid of this differential area from the x axis is right. So y c is this distance. So as we can see that this differential area is located at a distance of y from the x axis so this means that y c is equal to y right so we can write that uh, this y c is y and this is d a is x d y right so i can write it as y and x is this is x right so this is square root b into y to the power 1 divided by 2 d y so I can write square root b outside of the integration and this will be y if we multiply both of these so y to the power 1 plus 1 divided by 2 so this will become 3 divided by 2 and this is again from 0 to b remember right so this is square root b and if we integrate this this will be 5 divided by 2 divided we will add 1 to this power right so that will become 5 divided by 2 and this will be 5 divided by 2 or we can write that this is 2 divided by 5 and this is from 0 to b so again i can write this as 2 divided by 5 this is b to the power 1 divided by 2 and this will become b to the power 5 divided by 2 so this will be 2 divided by 5 and if we multiply this so we will add the powers so this will become b to the power 3 and this is y bar and area is 2 divided by 3 b square right this is that area so b square will cancel out and we will again cross multiply so 2 will also cancel out right so this will be 3 divided by 5 b right so this is the y bar coordinate of the centroid of this shaded area so i hope you people would have understood this problem solution like this particular video if you people want me to solve such more problems also subscribe my channel if you are watching uh, my channel for the first time